بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على اشرف المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم مددكم ونزلكم سيدي رسول الكريم يا حبيب العظيم فاتي الله تي رسول مولانا العالمين منكم and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu ta'eefu miskeen zalim jahal and but for the grace of Allah that I'm still in existence. Alhamdulillah we entered into Jumad al-Awwal and the ayat of kareem that we talked from last night and the power of 45 and the reality of the number of 45 in Surah al-Jathiya and Ayat al-Kareem, سَخِرْ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ And that Allah is describing for us that, I have subjected all of the heavens, all of the earths, all of them onto you Sayyidina Muhammad And it is a sign for those whom are from the people of tafakkur and contemplation. And we talked about that all the teaching that brings us to this ocean of reality, that this is a spiritual journey into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And that to understand that our soul and our light is from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah And that another Allah can be found in the heavens or on earth but except in the heart of his believer his reality is called Sayyidina Muhammad In that heart Allah will be found and the tariqahs are paths into that reality. So that they described in the previous month of fire in which Nabi Musa saw and entered into that portal, a dimension not from this dimension. A reality within the heavens that Allah allowed that fire to appear upon the earth and enter into that reality to appear in that highest reality within the paradise oceans which is in the heart of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad which in that heart can be found the Divine the Presence. And until we know ourselves, we won't know our Lord. Means we won't know that which governs us until we make the journey inward and not outward. As soon as we take a path to go within ourself and see the greatness of what Allah has bestowed within us, the gift that Allah has given to us of a heart in which to find His Divinely Presence. Not a gift that been given to any other creation and that for that reason Allah wa lakal karam na bani adam, I have honoured your creation that I gave you a heart like a vessel of gold that if you clean it and purify it, it will become my house. And only in my house you'll enter in and you'll find your reality, you'll find me within that heart. So this is a journey to the Lord of power, this is a journey to the reality of Allah of what He wants to bestow upon us. And then it clarifies for us that once you entered into your soul you found that your soul is not yours but it's a drop, a drop of light within an ocean of light. And that that light is called Muhammadun Rasulullah because La ilaha illallah means don't look here, there's nothing but Allah in the ocean of La ilaha illallah and Allah's might and majesty is a power reflected onto Muhammadun Rasulullah So this is a journey towards our reality, towards the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And on this fifth month by the power of the Sultan and the power of nine, it opens the secret of 45. And Ayat al Kareem in Surah Al Jaltiyah is describing for us that I have subjected to you. So that's what we talked about last night. Everything on heavens, everything on earth is a subject of yours. Because when you're a king, everything is subjected to you. They call you the sovereign. 
because you are the owner of it, of everything within it. And Allah jamian and clarifies for anyone trying to wiggle out something that is not subject to it, Allah put within that legal phrase a cap, capture all, that lock everything, nothing can escape from jamian. So you can't say, oh it's this, no, no, Allah just say everything. Angels are subject to you, heavens and paradises are subject to you, judgment is subject to you, healing is subject to you. Everything because anything you try to escape from it, Allah jamian, no, 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 everything. And also Surat Al Yaseen Wasallam describes, what was the ending of Surat Al Yaseen? Subhan, Subhanallah. I give you a hint. Biyadihil malakutu kulli shayyin wa ilayhi turja'oon. Kulli shayyin wa ilayhi turja'oon. The English would be what? Glory be to Allah in whom He put the dominion within that hand wa kulli shay. That everything is on the hand of that dominion that Allah has given. Means Allah is praising Himself, His Subhan to the power He is given. My glory be upon that hand that contains all dominion, kulli shay. Again a capture all verse so that nobody can squimmer out of it, that kulli shay, that everything is under the dominion of that hand. Surah Yaseen is Sayyidina Muhammad is the heart of Qur'an, is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad and to its reality you will return. So means that wherever we look from what Allah teaching awliyaullah from Holy Qur'an because they are servants of the reality so they have to know whom they serve. Their service to Allah is in the service to Sayyidina Muhammad and they are subjects within his domain and within his kingdom. And his in kingdom encompasses everything of the heavens and everything of the earths, of the mulk and malakut, anything manifesting is under that kingdom, anything not manifesting in the world of life that we cannot see but are in existence which would be above the sama and into the heavens, they're under the dominion. Mm. Then go into the micro that every atom is under the dominion and authority of Sayyidina Muhammad Every nucleus, every electron, everything. Because kulli shay wa jamiyan that anything you can discover it is under the tanath and authority that we gave you sovereignty over it. That you are the one whom governs it, watches it, every authority with you has been given over it. So that Allah said they don't truly understand except those people whom they are from the people of tafakkur in which they contemplate that they go to the depth of that ayah that Allah is describing that how He's in charge of everything. How, how then is He governing with what authority and what power Allah gave to the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad to govern the atomic state of everything and what speed the electrons move. What is this, the structure of the atom and the nucleuses and the, the minute is more amazing than you look on the outside. You look on the outside so go oh, the planets okay maybe he's governing with this certain power he has. But every atom that makes the planet, every electron that makes everything, every speed of every electron and its movements, 
and how they're moving and not colliding, that's when you say, Allahu Akbar. Because it's beyond imagination, this is to Allah's azimat and greatness. Allah have given that all its authority to you. So, with, with what power Allah has given to Nabi Muhammad Uh huh, just you think. <laughs> Means that's when Allah gave the reality of Hamd and dressed it with his alif. He gave an alif from his izza, his might, from his divinely presence, he gave that alif to the reality of Hamd and made that Hamd to become Ahmad. With the reality of the alif and with Izzatullah and Allah's might and majesty, He dressed that reality. And by the power of that alif, all of these are of a divinely grace and divinely powers. So then imagine that all of that power, all of that reality, that's why only Allah come into our life and teaching us that if you want to reach to Allah's power, you want to reach to Allah's grace, you want to reach to Allah's satisfaction, love Sayyidina Muhammad Love Prophet more than we love ourselves. Live a life in service to that reality and find a way to serve the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why the mawlid, that's why the dhikr, that's why the salawats, that's why the association, that's why the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad Because these are all the acts of love and muhabbat that bring us into that ocean. For there's nothing that we can do that can gain that. Not our salah and not our zakah. And not our Saum and not our Hajj can gain the proximity of that reality because it's only granted by Sayyidina Muhammad Right? So then everything has to be by muhabbat and love. And that Prophet when he told this hadith, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq began to whirl. And that opened up the immensity of the realities of sama and the, the realities of whirling that when Prophet described, you will be with whom you love. That was the key for all of these realities. Because imagine to, to be taught all these realities but to remind yourself your prayers will never get them, your zakah will never get them. You'll not get any of those realities that they're talking about by your actions, by your amal. And they can only be achieved through that holy hadith that Prophet gave to his holy companions, you will be with whom you love. Means the only door to these high level realities is love and muhabbat. And the love for Sayyidina Muhammad is the only thing that draws us into that reality. We pray, we fast, we give, we do all of those things to perfect the char character but the only way to enter into these realities is by love and love for the reality of Prophet and that's why the character, that's why the good character, that's why stepping upon the ego and, and not making ourselves to be fiery, not making ourselves to be bad, not to make ourselves aggressive, all, all of those whom have suffered in the way, they suffered for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad because they said to themselves, for your love, your love to be upon me. I will bring myself down, I will be nothing, I will not open my mouth, I will not speak. And they humiliated themselves for the purpose of that love and that ish to show their good character. That was a reminder from Sayyidina Musa He wanted the knowledges, he wanted the reality and he subjected himself to the difficulty of Sayyidina Khidr from beginning insulted him. 
from the six great prophets of Allah he meets a Muhammadiyun and immediately the testing begins that you're not going to be able to tolerate me, how could you tolerate me with you when you have little knowledge of something. From beginning to end he insulted Sayyidina Musa and why Sayyidina Musa took that? Because he wanted where the two rivers meet. I want the reality of La ilaha illallah and I want the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah and I want to be from where they meet at the reality of who? La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah So Allah is showing that from His great Prophets, from the six great Prophets that example that no matter how high the station for the sake and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad they face themselves to bring down and to be nothing. So that to gain the love and admiration of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah address us from this ayat al kareem We said this is a month in which to repeat that ayat and reminding ourselves, Ya Rabbi everything in the hand you have given all of this into the hands of Sayyidina Muhammad and I'm asking to keep my head at his holy feet and that you relieve me of difficulties, take away distress, fix anything in my rizq, fix anything in my character, all of those this is the month to ask through that ayah. And when you tafakkur and contemplate and meditate on these realities then we begin to understand Ayatul Kursi. Why Allah needs a chair and what chair could possibly hold Allah So it means that Allah doesn't sit on a chair but creation sits on a chair and Allah sits within His Divinely heart. So then begins more and more opening of the realities of Holy Qur'an that what kind of authority Allah has given to the reality and to the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensity of these lights and these blessings. And that we talked last night about the coming of Sayyidina Isa salam and the immensity of these lights and the dressings and blessings that are coming upon the earth and what that reality it contains. That even for the level of the ulama who understand hadith al-Jabbar that when Sayyidina Jabbar asked, Ya Rasulullah what was the first thing that Allah created? And the light of your Nabi before there was a heaven, before there was a arsh, before there was a bayt al-Mahmur my light was created. Well then that means that the light of Sayyidina Muhammad is everything. Every angel is Nur Muhammad Who is Sayyidina Jibreel It's from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad So in the world of Malakut they're called Malakut because Allah gave them a, a meme because are the most purified Muhammadan lights, they don't have a nafs. So any hadith of Sayyidina Jibreel coming close is the light of Sayyidina Muhammad So alhamdulillah they just have to ponder and think and remember that everything is from that light. So alhamdulillah inshaAllah give us a life in which to see the arrival of Sayyidina Isa and uh, Sayyidina Mahdi onto this earth and to bring the Muhammadan kingdom upon this earth inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifun wa salam wa al-mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri al-Suri al-Fatiha.